Okay. Let us see. Once the Bluetooth is on, how will you get the list of paired devices or bonded devices? It's very easy to do. The same app I'm going to use it. Here you can see that we have on and off button. I'm going to add one more button which is used to list out all the bonded device bonded devices or we can call it as list of paired devices so let me drag and drop one more button one more small button and here i'm going to rename the label bonded devices or you can call it as paired devices any name feel free to give then so when you click the paired devices we want to see what are the listers what are the devices which have been already paired so you can if you want you can go for list view here or you can go for some text view. For the simplicity, I'm going to continue with a text view. So let me go to the design mode back. So I'm going to take the plain text view. I'm just dragging and dropping it here. And initially some content is there. I am removing it. We don't want any text initially, but it is there. You can see that it is there. Text view. Now I am going back to the main activity. So now I want one more button. Button. So let it be list button because we want to list out some data in the text view. And we want the text view also. So let me declare the text view reference variable. I'm going to find these two things inside the on create method of the activity subclass. So this is list button. Find the ID R dot ID dot. So this is button tree, like that for the text view. Do the necessary type cast, text view, find the by id, r dot, id dot, <coughs> text view. I'm going to give some comments which list out the paired or we can say bonded devices for that list button dot set on click listener name on click listener and here we are going to call so first of all again we need to check that whether the bluetooth is on or not so we need to communicate with the bluetooth how will you communicate here you can see the code bluetooth adapter dot is enabled so this we have we need to put it so here also i'm going to repeat the same code bluetooth adapter dot if it is enabled only then we can get it you can check in your physical device So for that, now how will you get it? For that, again use the Bluetooth adapter dot. There is a standard method called get bonded device. And you can see what does it return? It returns set of Bluetooth device objects. So you'll get a collection of objects 
where each and every object is of type Bluetooth device. So that is a standard class. So this only I am going to use it. Get boundary device. So it returns set object. We can see that. So to ensure that we are going to take only Bluetooth Bluetooth device, you can give like this. It is a generic concept. In the generic, we'll study that. So when this line is getting executed, we'll get the list of paired devices or list of bounded devices which is available in the set. So now we are going to retrieve that data. For that, I'm going to use for each for loop. For each object in the set, where each object is of type Bluetooth device. So you may code like this, Bluetooth device, some reference variable for each object of type Bluetooth device in set and you can say that text view dot append so first I am going to take the Bluetooth device object dot get name the particular name you can get it and if you want you can get its address also by like this you can say that just Bluetooth device So it is very easy to understand. We are just calling Bluetooth adapter dot get devices. So it will, will get a set of Bluetooth device objects and using the for each we are extracting it and one by one we are adding to or appending to text view. And your output will be like this. If you the that particular paired Bluetooth device is for example if it is of Nexus 5 it will get Nexus 5 comma and its address it will get the that is for example F8 colon 00 colon 58 colon 9B colon 4A that you will get it. So it is very easy to do that that's all. Now you can check it within your physical device.